What's up guys, Yo Biddy LPs here, here is episode 50 of Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Number 5 -0. Took took long enough, but I got here. Anyways, we are going to head back into classic mode, and we're going to be playing as another one of the DLC characters. And notice on my roster I don't have Yuta yet, I don't know why, I just haven't bought him. He doesn't seem fun, and he's bad. <laughs> so anyway, Lucas or Roy, Lucas or Roy, I'm going to play as Roy, the boy. So yes, I'm um, going to go on 7 intensity, there we go, and let's do this. Roy is really strong, like overpowered in this game, but he's not like chic overpowered. No, no, no. Alright, I'm going to face Wii Fit Trainer. I like 1v1s, they're simple. Alright. So yeah, Roy's F Smash is really strong. And also another neat trick for Roy players. Uh, there's not really much end lag after his neutral B move, so you can like do neutral B and then like act like really quick out of it. Yo, Pokeball, I want that. No, you freaking bitch. Yo, I read that spot. Yo, we got like 760, but that was like half charge. But still, like that's just how strong Roy is. That is crazy. Alright. Let's uh... Let's do... Let's do this one with Yoshi, Luigi, and Magaman. Nah, but Roy does have downsides to him. He could easily get gimped. Um... Doesn't really have much combos. Combo game? Oh my god, this fucking stage. Why? So big. That's what she said, Kappa. I don't, uh, I don't know why I said Kappa. But anyways, um, what's been going on with you guys? Not much for me. Um, as you guys are watching this, it's probably day three of CEO, which is right now. It's just a huge Super Smash Brothers tournament. Oh my god, I almost died. It's a huge uh tournament. It takes place. It's taking place in Florida. Yeah, that was a uh, Roy's up B. But yeah, uh, top eight. I I just wa I just watched uh like a bunch of bra of the bracket because the fuck is that thing? Came out of nowhere and friggin' destroyed me. And there we go. That should be it. And Roy has a nice spike too. If I could get it, that'd be nice. And FTL will do it. But, um, yeah, CEO is going on top eight. Um, the stream just finished, and top eight isn't going to be on Sunday, which is the day this will be uploaded. Alright, time to face our rival Bowser. And, ooh, team battle. Choose a teammate. Let's go, Yoshi. Yoshi! Oh, man, four teams. That is insane! But, um, uh, I keep getting distracted. CEO top 8. So, these are the matches. Like, if you don't follow competitive Smash, then you probably won't, like, know the people I talk about. But competitive Smash is hype as hell. But, uh... What the hell is going on? Top 8. Okay, anyways. Top 8 for CEO. Oh, Yoshi died? Fuck it. Oh my god, I'm just destroying all... Yo! Anyways, top eight for CEO. We got zero. Who in the winners? There's four players on winner side of bracket, and then four on loser loser side. If you know how tournament brackets work, then yeah. Basically, you have to lose two sets to get knocked out of a tournament. And on the winner side, which are people who haven't lost a set yet, there are there's zero versus Esam. Zero is a Chilean player. I'm gonna face it. Who's who is that? What? It, 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 looked, it didn't even look like Fox, honestly. It looked like some like weird contortionist. I don't know. 
but we got Zero vs. Ezam. Zero known as one of the best, probably right now, the best Super Smash Brothers uh, Wii U. Oh, he has customs? Okay. Custom boys. Oh, screw you. And he's got the no hitbox up B. Interesting. What was that? Huh? Huh? Okay. Screw you, Fox. Idiot. So yeah, we got Zero vs. Ezam. Zero known as probably the best Super Smash Bros. 4 player. Ezam from Fo Florida. Um, Ezam is a Pikachu player. He's really good, but doesn't play as much in tournaments. Because he's... I don't know. He just doesn't feel like it. He's a, he's an interesting guy. He's a cool guy, though. I've met him plenty of times, and yeah, he's awesome. But yeah, he is in winter semis against Zero, and then we have Nairo, who is from New Jersey. Now, he doesn't live uh, far from me, actually. Well, like an hour away, but nonetheless, I see him at tournaments a lot, and he usually wins them because he's freaking Nairo. How the hell did Diddy Kong die? Well, whatever. I'm not caring. Idiot. Yo, Golden Hammer. No, oh, Mega Man! Oh, it's Squeaky. Yo, screw you. So if you don't know, the Golden Hammer has a chance of getting the Squeaky. You have a chance of getting the Squeaky Golden Hammer. Yo, Master Ball hype. Darkrai. I have not... That was actually bad. Why, why didn't he freaking kill him? He just moved him around did percent. And I hit the fucking bomb. Does that be herpy? God, all these customs. But uh, yeah, Nairo, a uh, New Jersey native, really like he's a young kid. He just graduated high school, and he's freaking amazing. Zero Suit Samus mean. Die. And yeah, he's great. And then there's MVD, who plays Diddy Kong. And MVD, known for messing people up with Duck Hunt Dog at Apex, top 8. And he's really good too. He beat Mr. R, who was actually one of the contenders for winning the tournament. By a lot of people, so that is insane that he beat him. And then on the loser side, we got Shaky, who is a Nest player, versus... Shaky, who is he first? Screw it, screw it. What I forget. Shaky versus the Buzz. The bu Okay, so Shaky is a Floridian player. There's gonna be there's a decent amount of Florida players because this is a Florida tournament. Did that seriously hit me and kill? Where did that come from? I don't even know where that. Why is there so many soccer balls? Anyways, yes, uh, Shaky for the Nest player, known as probably the best Nest right now. <laughs> oh, that was easy. And yeah, he did work. Basically, <laughs> he basically did work. He almost took a game off zero. Yes, it doesn't sound like oh, he almost took a game off, but he it was close games. And. uh... And the Buzz, who is from New York, he's a Rosalina main, known for getting second at Apex 2015. And he did work as well. And he's in loser side against Shaky. So if one of those guys lose their next set, one of the, whoever loses gets seventh place out of 512. That is insane, though. Get, just getting that far is crazy. Come on, go away, hands. Thank you. <laughs> right as I said. Oh god. <laughs> that almost killed me. So yeah, that's one side of the loser's bracket. Loser's eighth. It's... Oh, eighth. It's all eighth. God, I can't fucking speak. And then on the other side of losers, we got... 
um, Nick Riddle, who's actually Esam's brother, older brother, I'm pretty sure. Not known to be the better one, but he's still in top 8, which is pretty crazy that two brothers are in top 8 at a tournament of this caliber. Oh, God. And then, um, Nick Riddle, and he is up against Larry Lure. Larry Lure, known as DEHF, or doesn't everyone hate Falco? Um, he was, in Brawl, he was a Falco main. It, I don't know, like, it's funny that that's what his name was. Doesn't everyone hate Falco? And, um, he won Apex 2010, which was a huge Brawl tournament back in the day. That is old school. But he was a really good Falco player in Brawl. In this game, he plays Fox, and he is amazing. Like, he is more, he's probably my favorite player to watch right now. He is, he is so smart. I beat that. Venus flytrap, motherfucker. And then, um... Yes, th those two play. He is from, he, uh, Larry's from California. Only California native. Well, actually, if you consider Zero, because he lives in California right now, but he's from Chile. Larry's the only born and raised Californian that is in top 8. That is weird to say, Californian. Yeah, Mr. R is all, who I said was a real contender. He came... F he was the only international player at this tournament so I but I guess you could consider that international um he lost to Larry in losers and he lost to um MVD in winners so two like upsets right there definitely oh my god that was quick and I think that's gonna be it see so yeah, I talked a lot about the um big tournament CEO Yo, my Roy is freaking on point. And one more of those should do it. Hey, Well, see, he's so strong. That, he destroyed that quick as fuck. And I'll do it. Roy's our boy. I like how the, the uh, game uh, chants Roy's our boy, though. That, that's awesome that they brought that back. Alright. Dun, dun. And a... Alright, uh, so that's number seven on Classic Mode? God, I got a lot to do. One, two, three... No, six! Jesus Christ. No, wait. No, I'm right. Seven. I was right. <clears throat> Alright, let's skip this part, because I don't care. Oh my god, lag. You see that lag for a sec? Jesus. Come on, Wii U. Step it up. Roy seems really fun to play, honestly. But, like, he, like, just got released, like, like, a couple weeks ago. So, like, of course everyone's gonna try him out. Thank you! Oh, nice. I don't care about those. <laughs> I love that, though. I don't know why he turns Falco into chicken. <laughs> or turkey, whatever the hell it is. That was great. That's great, though. Nimble Dodger Ability Badge for collect 50 different special moves. Oh, interesting. Cool. And uh, I think that's going to do it. Found 40 unique bonus effects for equipment. Okay, cool. But yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, yeah, leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more videos. And I will catch you guys later. Deuces.